Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna talk about the Beretta 92 Elite LTT. So we have here the beautiful, gorgeous Beretta 92 LTT by Langdon Tactical. Um, beautiful gun, just got it a few days ago. And uh, this is the full size version. Just a quick safety check. The uh, gun is empty. I have my snap cap in place so I can dry fire at will. I'm not gonna bore you with all the uh, technical specs on this gun. You can look it up at Landing Tactical. Um, I love the fact that this has uh, the decock only right there and it's good to go right after that. The only option I got here uh, when you order directly from Lang Tactical I obviously asked for the trigger job and the NP3 coating and uh, also I got the uh, Wilson Combat Magwell guide or actually just a Wilson Combat Mag guide which was uh, also designed by uh, Ernest Langdon with uh, Bill Wilson. Before getting any further, I just want to say that uh, watching this gun before just on YouTube and pictures, it does not do it justice. Uh, once I got it, I looked at it and it was going to be a good looking gun, but let me tell you, uh, firsthand, it is a gorgeous piece of handgun. This gun tips in at a measly 33.3 ounces. Relatively speaking, it is my lightest uh, steel frame gun. Uh, in comparison, my 92 Performance X is a whopping 47.5 so ounces. I'm holding this gun, I must say the uh, shape of the grip, uh, the thickness of the grip that came with it, it is just perfect for my hand. I only have a, a very big hand I have a medium sized hand and it is perfect uh, I like the texture of the grip um, it's got enough grip uh, that when I rapid fire it does not move I love the uh, front serration here and uh, at the rear at the same time it's not as aggressive as my 92 uh, X performance so today I was able to uh, take it to the shooting range and shoot a few rounds. By a few rounds, I am saying uh, 2,000 rounds. I plan on shooting only 500 rounds, but I enjoyed it so much that next thing I know, I went through 2,000 rounds with this gun. The slide to frame fitment, in my opinion, is very tight. I am impressed. You lock it back and I expected movement, but it is solid. Awesome quality. What are my thoughts with this gun so far? One word, impressed. Why am I impressed? So today, originally I planned only to shoot 500 rounds because it was outdoors, a little too cold here in Canada, uh, but I enjoyed it so much that uh, next thing I knew I went through 2,000 rounds. So you might ask, what's so impressive about 2,000 rounds? There's a lot of other guns there on YouTube that have gone through 2,000 rounds. And yes, they can also say sometimes that, not all, uh, but some of them can say they have been zero malfunction and so is this gun. Uh, but to me, the reason why it is very impressive is this. Ta-da! I use this cheapo Winchester steel case. Um, crappy ammo. Very cheap. Um, I got um, 7,000 rounds of these and uh, I didn't realize uh, because I'm new to this uh, industry um, that steel cases usually are of poor quality, not good. And so I've tried it with my other handguns. Uh, mind you, all of my ZZ have shot it like a champ, no problems. 
However, there's a few handguns that just do not like this um, ammunition. In my book, uh, a gun with this caliber, uh, price range and whatnot, I expect a lot. Um, I don't know, I, I expect to be reliable, to shoot really well, um, and that's just it, right? Uh, some people say, why would you shoot crappy um, ammo on handguns like that? And uh, that's my philosophy in a way, that if I'm paying this kind of money, I expect best of both worlds, it should be um, a good self-defense handgun, um, can also use for competition, and will shoot any ammunition you throw at so it. So the question is, is there anything that I do not like about this gun, uh, to be honest with you? Uh, none. I love this gun so much. I enjoy it so much to a point whereby it's actually challenging my ZZ Acer one LD as my ultimate favorite handgun currently, and that says a lot. I love my ZZA01LD. Uh, as to whether I shoot better with that gun or with this gun compared to the ZZA01LD, uh, only time will tell. We can actually use the timer and see which gun I shoot uh, better. Uh, but currently, I really enjoy this gun. It's so much fun to go to. Um, and in the near future, I will also do a comparison how this stacks up with my Beretta 92X performance. Well, there you have it, my initial impression of this gun, Beretta 92 Elite LTT by Langdon Tactical. Uh, to say that Langdon Tactical uh, makes an impressive handgun is an understatement I can find. A better word to coo to describe how good this gun is hope you guys like it if you're in the market and considering a beretta style handgun um, i would highly recommend the langdon tactical ltt or the elite ltt with a trigger job uh, mp3 is optional but i think it's a wonderful touch i like the way it looks and it's also functional i think it's uh uh, a bit shiny and slippery and it makes it for easy cleaning and I believe that it makes the gun a little smoother. If you have any questions, uh, write in the comments. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.